August 17th is the feast of St. Clair of Montefalco, an Augustinian nun noted for her devotion to the Passion of Christ. For that reason, she is sometimes called St. Clair of the Cross. St. Clair was born in Montefalco, Italy in 1268, the second daughter of Damiano and Lacopo Vincente. While still young, she went to live with her sister Joan, who had established a community of cloistered nuns. From the beginning, little Claire observed the rule of the Third Order of St. Francis and added severe penances, keeping strict silence, taking only bread and water, and sleeping on the ground. As a young woman, she became a member of that community, professing religious vows under the rule of St. Augustine. About eight years later, Claire and the other sisters moved to a new convent, that of Santa Croce, which had been built for them on a nearby hill. Joan was elected as the first abbess, and their small hermitage was dedicated as a monastery. A year later, on November 22, 1291, Joan died, and Claire was elected abbess by the bishop. At first, she refused the office, but the nuns kept insisting that only Claire was called to serve as abbess. So, she reluctantly accepted. She was only 23 years old at that time. Claire was a wise abbess who governed with love and holiness. Her wisdom and holiness soon became known to people outside the monastery. Troubled persons, including bishops, priests, friars, theologians, judges, educated and illiterate alike, came seeking Claire's counsel. She helped the conversion of sinners. She reconciled families which were at odds with one another. She helped to make peace between neighboring warring towns. She drove out evils, healed the sick, and even raised the dead. During the latter part of her life, she also received the gifts of ecstasy and supernatural knowledge. She was deeply devoted to the Passion of Christ and was known to experience periods of ecstasy as she contemplated the mystery of the cross. One day, Jesus appeared before her, carrying his cross, and said, I have been searching for a long time, daughter, to find a firm, and solid place on which to plant my cross, and I have not found one more suitable than your heart. You must receive it and allow it to take root. She reached for the cross, making known her desire to help him carry it, and Jesus implanted it in her heart. The intense pain she felt in all her being upon receiving the cross in her heart remained with her. The rest of her years were spent in pain and suffering, and yet she continued to joyfully serve her fellow nuns as their abbess. Claire herself once told a sister in her convent, if you seek the cross of Christ, take my heart. There you will find the suffering Lord. In 1303, Claire built a church in Montefalco, which served as a chapel for the nuns and a church for the town. It was blessed by the Bishop of Spoleto and was dedicated to the Holy Cross. Claire's reputation for holiness and wisdom attracted visitors to the monastery of the Holy Cross, but she continued to still govern the monastery with care. She served as abbess for 16 years, and in August 
1308, she became so ill that she was bedridden. Claire made her last confession on August 17th and died in the convent on August 18th. After her death, a post-mortem examination revealed that her heart did indeed contain a representation of the cross and other symbols of Christ's suffering and death formed from cardial muscle. Claire was canonized by Leo XIII in 1881. Her remains are at the Augustinian convent in Montefalco. The life of Claire of the Cross is a striking reminder that holiness is the work of grace and not of human effort. Nonetheless, cooperation with the work of God is indispensable for spiritual growth. For he who made us without our willing it will not save us without our willing it. Christian Kids TV would like to thank you, our supporters, for making it possible to produce four new videos in the month of February. We would also love to take a moment to celebrate the 27 new supporters on Patreon who have joined our family. We now have a total of 288 patrons supporting our mission. We are now more than halfway to our 500 patrons goal. This is such exciting news. Like we said before, once we reach our goal of 500 Patreon supporters, we will be releasing the full-length film, Our Lady of Lord. If you would like to become a patron, or would like more information about becoming a patron, please visit patreon.com slash Christian Kids. There are different giving tiers to choose from, making it easy for anyone to join, starting from as low as $2.